and Fire Emblem games take me a very long time to play them because I grind a lot, and I'm still bad at them. Karn never picked up the damn jewel, so I don't know how this is going to work. Or if it's going to. I have warriors, yeah. I may stream warriors. That's a different beast. Warriors is a different beast altogether, all, all so... That's possible. I'm wondering if the game just considered Karn having picked it up or not. Well, well we're gonna find out. Look at him run! You, you gonna go? Oh, alright. I think I screwed. I think the game bugged. I strongly believe the game just bugged on me. Karn never picked up the stones, so... If that's the case, I can't get through here because he's stuck in that room now. Oh, it's still up there. Interesting. Okay. Now I gotta figure out how to get him out of that room then. Fuck off, death. Fuck off, death. She just clunked. Thank you. Uh, 
All right, Karn, go through the door. If he won't go through the door, there's nothing I can do. I am 100% certain that this game just bugged on me, and uh, I can't go through and complete this. Karn's got to pick up the stone. That's the problem. And either way, he's stuck in this room. I can't backtrack at all. I need him. So, I'm going to have to either restart the game, or... I don't know. I'm gonna try going into the room. No, what I mean is Karn needs to pick up this stone and because he's stuck in that room, he won't leave the room. And I've played this before, so there's nothing I have to do in that particular room to get him to go other than he's supposed to go. So I'm gonna try knocking that stone down and see if he'll, his character will teleport over here. You know what, actually? I might just fast travel out of the dungeon and back in, though. That may solve it. See, because what he's supposed to do, this stone here, he's supposed to pick it up. But maybe if I do the cutscene of me knocking it off again... Yeah, there he is. See, that's what he was supposed to do last time, but he didn't do that. I got you. Alright, so now that he's got that stupid stone, we can continue. Um, but there is something I want to do. I just realized, I think I know what that bomb was for. Alright, so it did bug, just not in the way, uh, not in an unfixable way. Okay, so... So Every time I get up there, I keep moving. There we go.
Okay, I don't see anything to do with that, so... Let's head out. Though I do appreciate the suggestions, Faye. I'm glad he teleported over to me, though. That made things... That allowed me to breathe a uh, sigh of relief. That way I don't have to replay the whole game tonight. So back when I was playing Dragon Quest Heroes 2, I was uh, practicing the uh, fight against the secret boss. What are you doing? Alright, well you should be fine. Anyway, I was practicing the fight against the secret boss and I accidentally saved over my uh, my file. But I hadn't actually beat the game yet on my on my stream file. So I stayed up all night and speed run the game to get back to where I was. Speed run, speed ran the game. That was a time. Good job, Ken. All right. Now we go out here. And as you can see, the water cooled all that magma. From the heart to the stone, the life blood flows. Looks like we're not done yet. Well, you knew there was going to be three, so yeah, we just finished the second one. This stands to reason that we're not done yet. There you go. Sorry for bumping the mic there. Had to sneeze and quickly push the button. Are you going to toss me over? Okay. Well, let me get this guy prepared. Are, are we are, are we going to do this? No? Okay. Okay. You sit there and think about what you've done. I cannot. Okay, now let's get our golem and break down some corruption. Oh, lovely. This one looks like it's in a good state.
Hey, Crimson! Welcome to today's stream. How you doing? As you can see, we're playing Darksiders. We are almost done for today. I'm just going to finish this dungeon and then... Uh, one of my favorite parts of the game after that. I think... No, I go down a little lower. And we're gonna jump. There we go. And hop. And hop. I really like their wall grappling, uh, running portions. And this maker looks like he's seen better days. There's something wrong with this one. I agree. I bet you have seen Bigger Karn. Corrupted Custodian. Alright. Oh, that still hit me. Shit. That still hit me. Shit. Okay, that still hit me. And that hit me too. Oh, that's great. That didn't hit me. And that still hit me. Okay. Why? Thank you. That's what I wanted. Okay, that fucking spin attack shreds me. And there's no way that thing was gonna win, but man, that sucks. That was a boss fight. I love my maker set. I was not expecting to find an actual armor set in here. That's pretty sweet. All right, let's see the final marriage. Corruption fair weeps from it. The other two heart cells were pure. I'm wagering that their radiance will cleanse the third. Mayhaps. Khan, the greater risk is to do nothing. Hey.
don't think there's much tracking I'm gonna need to do. Pretty sure he's fairly big. Oh, we get to go down this path. We didn't actually go down here earlier. We went into the opening of it, just didn't actually go down here. What the fuck is wrong with this wall? I seem to recall there being something about these ones. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't feel like waiting any longer. Alright, well, if there is, I'll look it up. So, we've reached Tristone. What do you got to say there, buddy? You look kind of small compared to the other guardian. Wake up, little one. There is work to do. Fuck you, don't patronize me. Maker's Forge. That's a good question. The Guardian's run wild. He's gone mad, horseman. Idar doesn't know. Well, I guess we should go tell Idard. I like that. Good luck! I guess they just thought it looked cool. Because it does look pretty cool. The darkness has risen all around us. Okay. Oh, actually, you know what? The darkness has risen. Yeah, I got all that. Around us. What was old is new again. Fill up on potions. See, Disciple knows what's up. Alright guys, we are going to do this last little bit here and then we'll be done for today. Um, this is probably one of my favorite parts of the game. Talking to Thane. No. This can't be. The stone. Bastard. Tell me where to find the Guardian. Head to the plains outside the city. And hurry. Adar is waiting for you both. Man, look at his face. He got beat up. He got blood in his teeth and everything. Okay, we gotta go up the other way. That's fine.
The Guardian. I love the music of this part. And he got me. Oh, I see. Swing that big hammer of yours. Yes, I see what the, I have to do. Thank you. Seriously, you don't need to show me some more. I know what to do. Thanks for wasting all that time. Now I gotta wait for him to swing his damn hammer again. Seems like a bad design choice to put corrupted bombs on his arm. Didn't work out how I'd hoped. Oh, that, that was close. Bitch ass all you want. Oh, that was unlucky. Eat dick, giant shadow monster.
Two down. One to go. The Dark Talons, the dead lo lord loyal to the deposed king, Argyll, forged these claws from the heart of a glacier. When Argyll was overthrown, many of his lieutenants were destroyed, and the Dark Talons were lost forever. These weapons seethe with the essence of deep winter cold, and every strike freezes the blood of its victims. Those enemies that the claws freeze into immobility are even more vulnerable to its touch, suffering horrendous wounds from any follow-up attacks. Hello, Dust. You had no choice but to destroy him, horseman. Yet if the pass to the Tree of Life is to be cleared, I have no choice but to bring him back. How many times would you have me kill him? The Guardian will be as a newborn, free of corruption. Now, stand aside. This will take more than a small effort. <laughs> You won't survive this! I am a maker! That task defines my very purpose! And the reaping of souls defines your own! There is no escaping it! No, that wasn't Jimbo. Jimbo's still alive. Get to the tree now, horseman. Your journey is far from over. That was Super Jimbo. Proto Jimbo. It blew itself up, and I leveled up. A gift has been left for you by Anonymous. All right, we'll check that out in a moment. All right, first, let's equip our new weapon, our new talons. They're not quite stronger than what I got, but whatever. That's the rule, we gotta use them. They're pretty sick looking, though. Go back to the stone father here to talk to people before we head to the tree. When I reach the tree, that's where I'll end for today. But guys, that uh, music during that fight is so amazing. I really like it. 
And if you want to hear it, I would suggest... Uh, I posted it in the Discord, but I would suggest checking out... Um, the Guardian on... Uh, Darksiders 2, The Guardian uh, theme on YouTube. You... A gift from Anonymous. I offer you this invitation to compete in the Crucible. Eternal glory awaits you upon completion. If you survive, seek me out to accept my challenge. Note, you can reach the Crucible by fast travel through the map interface. Okay. Upon a new adventure, all is unknown. The Traveler starts the Fool. Gaining knowledge as the path is revealed. The Crucible has been unlocked on the world map. Take with you this card and discover the identity of the sender and their motivations. Alright, I'm not actually going to be doing the Crucible yet. I'll do it later. Um, it's literally just a tournament fighting. I, it, it, it's a Crucible. That's Cash Shop exclusive Jimbo. So we're going to talk to these people. You saved our realm. And for that, you have my gratitude. But hey, only time luck. will tell if your path leads into darkness or if it leads out. Why build constructs? You make us seem sturdy enough. Even we must eventually pass from this life. But our spirits are far too ancient to be drawn to the dead city. We must instead become one with the forest or take up a body of stone. The constructs are dead makers. You think there would be more of them? Once there were many constructs in the halls of the Stone Father, but corruption has claimed most of their number, and ours as well. I searched for a way to give life to stone without sacrificing the soul of a maker, but I cannot say that life is what I gave my creation. Something went wrong. The construct was consumed by fire. Rage boiling up from the abyss. It killed one of our young ones and fled into the charred pass. I do not wish to see my creation destroyed, but it must not harm anyone else. I need you to kill it. All right. You had trouble raising weeds. Why create a construct? We are a people of stone, born of the fires beneath the earth. I captured a spark from the heart of the Stone Father to bring my creation to life, but it wouldn't stop burning. And soon, his pain turned to rage. Uh, Tunlock, it's excellent. You just missed one of my favorite parts of the game. I've slain constructs before, Shaman. How will I know when I've killed yours? He has taken to calling himself Gorn. The word I know not, but I sense it is ancient. A word of fire. It wells up from within him and spells onto the earth. Fire or blood, I will drain him of both. Good. All right. So I don't know if I want to do that right away. Um, I don't like his dungeon. It's actually annoying to get through it. Adventure. I can't believe Idar's gone. I never thanked him for all he did. Me either. But then I'm death. I don't think he would. It was very cheery. Good luck, given that she feels down in the dumps. Anyway, luck, yeah. Uh, my favorite part I just did, and it makes me sad that I'm not doing it anymore, but. It went surprisingly well. Last time I played this, I couldn't remember how to beat him, and that went a lot worse than uh, what I just did now. Ah, oh, you're about to try and fight Balzac. You fought the Guardian with skill and cunning. I suppose you might make a warrior yet. Hey, you lost, so shut your mouth. Anyway. There's still some stuff I want to do in the uh, overworld here. I might go and fight Garn. Uh, I don't want to because he's a bit of an asshole. Or Gorn, sorry. But we'll fight. We'll do all this secret stuff over here and in the Drenchwood. But for now, let's go here. 
any tips I can give you, he hits really hard. So uh, you're going to want to make sure that uh, you have some heavy hitters of your own. Just know that uh, he... Um, I don't think he has very high defense, though. Oh, I should be allowed to use that mace. That hammer right there. Hero, Tornico, Mina, and Maya. That's only because they have the best equipment. Um, you should be able to do it. Tornico might be a problem, though, because of his randomness. But uh, keep everybody alive and uh, uh, like as high up as you can be. Hey Trini, I uh, I'm actually almost done the stream, so if you want to stick around for a few more moments, I will be uh, I'll be finishing here, and you can see this final scene. You may want to consider Ragnar or Elena if you have them. Just get them some gear. So guys, this is the tree. survive this resurrection, nor do they deserve it. That is not ours to judge. I do this to spare war from the Council's punishment. And what of the Nephilim? Would you save but one and not the rest? The Nephilim are a threat to the balance. If we had taken Eden, none of this would have happened. Yet you rode against us, slaughtered our flesh, then bound our souls in your amulet. Who are you? I think you once, you called me brother. Absalom. I have forsaken that name. Now, I am corruption. The day you raised your scythe against us, I was born. And soon, I will be all. The tree of life has fallen to my darkness. From withered root to fruitless limb. And even death himself will not escape it. What defines a soul? Some call it the spark within that fights the darkness, that burns for life itself. But what of death, who became the reaper on the day he slaughtered the Nephilim? He killed his brother, his comrades, and Absalom. Why do you slay your own? The Nephilim have no claim to Eden. There are realms for angels and demons. Why not for us? Eden belongs to man. It belongs to those who take it! The Eons have not answered the question. <laughs> Was it worth it? Brother. That one moment. <laughs> begot corruption. And crowned him Kinslayer. <laughs> the bitter victory could not be undone. Ah, the pale 
writer. Isn't it odd that so many have come here by your hand? <sighs> and yet you so rarely visit the Dead Kingdom. I had no plan to visit this wretched place. I sought the Tree of Life, I found it. Now I'm here. <laughs> the tree is no destination, my friend. Only a portal to other worlds. If the tree is what you seek, then you have arrived. That I have been betrayed. Mm, not so hasty. The tree is wise beyond imagining. If it brought you here, then here is where you belong. Perhaps I can help. Mm. I doubt it. You would be wise to heed me. I have a merchant skill to grant your deepest desire. Tell me, Ryder, what do you seek? Mm? I would redeem my brother, restore the balance. Mm. Yes, I have heard the tale. Your brother rode, though no call was given, and mankind paid the price. Guard your tongue, merchant. I give no judgment, friend. Only pass on that which I have been told. You were right to seek the tree, but it is only the gateway. What you seek is the Well of Souls. The Well of Souls can restore humanity. And more. The well channels the dead into this kingdom, from every world, above and below. It is also how souls are brought back into creation, when they are ready to be reborn. Tree of life, tree of death, portals to other worlds. I know none of this. How is it I have remained so blind, or does your tongue only spit lies? Much was kept from the Nephilim, and from the Four. Why? Because power must be tempered with ignorance. If the Nephilim knew the true nature of the tree, all would have perished. <laughs> I forsook the Nephilim. Became a warrior for the balance, even killed my own people. I protect these worlds, you and the tree. Yet still I remain in the dark. Forsaken, yes. Forgotten? No. The Nephilim live on in you. <laughs> But what do I know? I am but a simple merchant. <laughs> what if I wish to return to the Forge Lands? The Tree of Life has many portals, Ryder. Some may help you retrace your path. Many portals are closed, but the ones to the Forge Lands remains open. <laughs> you still haven't said what you are. The history of my people was burned to ash, along with our world. Forgotten even by those who... <laughs> destroyed them. Now... Only the smoke remains. We were not the first, nor will we be the last. It is the way of things. The way of things is balance. And what balance is life? Nothingness. <laughs> or corruption. Eventually, it consumes us all. So it would seem. None of this explains what you're doing here. I am merely a humble merchant with a taste for the finer things. In life and in death. I am Ostagoth, and it would amuse me to offer you my wares. Pretend that I believe you. Where should my search begin? You must scale the Serpent's Peak and summon the Eternal Throne. There the Lord of Bones slumbers. He will guide you to the well, or he will have your soul. Before you go, Horseman, consider this. My people may be lost, but their relics yet remain. You may come across them in your travels. They are worthless to most, but valuable to me. Return them, and I will trade relic for coin. Okay, so that's going to be it, guys. We're going to end the stream here.